Guess who's back? Back again. Matt is back. Tell a friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? <laughs> Well, I'm back on par for my once a month vlog, so welcome to this month's vlog. I've started a new morning routine that I've found is uh, helping immensely this past month, though, that I wanted to share with you. I found this new app called Headspace. Well, I don't know how new it is. I just found out about it. It is where you can meditate if you never have before, basically. They show you a point of meditation. They make little fun animations with these characters. So, if you've never meditated before, I recommend check out Headspace. There is a subscription. This isn't a paid advertisement or anything. Actually, I'm starting to go back to YouTube videos more than Headspace because they're longer. So, you can also just type in morning meditation in YouTube and check out whatever comes up, five to 10 minutes, that's all you need. And then I've been uh, reading back in the good word too, in the mornings after I meditate. So get focused, read in the word, and kicks the day off right. Got some absolutely wonderful news. I get to leave the house today. I have a live, in-person, in-studio recording session. I'm gonna take you along, at least on the road trip on the way up there. Let's do this, let's leave the house. I'm so excited. <laughs> what is this blinding light coming from the sky? It's beautiful out here. Two essential rules for leaving the house for a recording session. Make sure your beard is trimmed up and looking clean, check. And also, make sure the white Nike swoosh on your kicks are also wiped down and looking clean. And maybe look over the script a few times too. Oh, and I also recommend either a little singing or opera to warm up the vocal cords. I haven't done this yet today, so hopefully it sounds all right. <clears throat> we'll get there, all right, on the way up. Or just go a little humming to, to warm up the vocal cords. It helps a lot. What do you think these guys do? Rad Interactive. You think they specialize in radical, radical things? Huh. Oh, right next to the studio. We made it. Studio West. Here we go. Success. It was a great session. I didn't get to film anything inside. It was a little more internal information than I thought it was going to be. It was a lot of fun. Got to work with two other um, people, Randy Davison and also Wendy Hovland, who I'll link below. Check them out. But it's always just fun to be able to work with other people because you're isolated so much in the voiceover business, usually just working at home alone, doing auditions. So when you get to go out to a real life studio, it is rewarding to see people. And here's a quick shot. Keep on trucking in the voiceover world. It's crazier than ever right now, but I still love it. It's always worth it. Every job I get, every time I get to get behind the mic, there's nothing else I'd rather be doing. Get to the chopper, no. Get to the chopper. I have a terrible Arnold impression. Don't try to copy that impression right there, but I just found this guy on Instagram the other day, Joe Gadot. He got an awesome Arnold impression. Check this. Hi, this is me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. You've been reviewing here. I see. Ecto Cooler. Spot on. It's fantastic. Um, it's one thing I'm not super great at is impressions. I always want to break them out mid-session, like a line. Um, you know, because I'm always working on my walking. Everybody's always got to be working on Chris, you know. Why not? It's the greatest impression that anybody could try to do. <laughs> but anyways, um, can you do any impressions? Let me know. Okay, I'm stuck in some traffic now. I gotta go. Actually, never mind. I'm not done yet. Hello, hello, hi again. I'm Matt. I was just thinking about today's session, and I one of my goals 
is usually try to become better at something from that session that, that stands out. And once again today, um, and I even joked about it with Randy, the other actor there, because we're both from the Northwest, and usually, I don't, I think I have a pretty good um, neutral accent. I'm not too southern, not too east coast, west coast. It's pretty neutral until I try to say stuff with a ing at the end of it, and I always shorten that up to doing, like like doing. I say doing. I'll just turn it into an en instead of an ing. So that, once again, I took away from this session. I still have to work on a bit. So challenge yourself after a session. You will never reach perfection, but perfection is not the goal. It's just to get better each and every session. So find something to work on after a session. Mine is my INGs. Also, it's just thinking again what a blessing it is to be out of the house working with people and laughing with people <laughs> so what is my point of all of this I'm quite hungry and I'm gonna go get something to eat guess who was on my stoop when I returned get off the white I can't help.